Hi, my name is Sean Charlton. I'm the general manager at PV Bicycle Center. Here to show you the Camber Comp 2013. just got this bike in as a demo. I'm at Whiting Ranch um, riding through the park today. I'm gonna go about 15 to 20 miles. Um, bikes right here. It's all X9 build, 2x10, BB30 bottom bracket, rock shock rear shock with the custom auto sag feature right here. So you can set your sag without having to mess with it really. Just fill it all the way up, sit on the bike, push the button and it stops where it releases. Um, and your sags set up pretty much perfectly. We got the rock shock fork here. It shows the sag settings right here, how much travel you're using out of the entire fork. Um, this one's got 120 millimeters of travel, 29er wheels. Um, camber isn't offered in a 26 model anymore. It's all 29ers for 2013. So, um, Avid brakes and X7 shifters. Um, so far, ride's great. I'm used to riding a stump jumper Evo, and going through the first section of this trail is a sandy, washy riverbed. I noticed it's considerably quicker through the sand. Um, rolls quite a bit easier. You don't have to dig as much to get over the sand as you don't sink in as much with the 29er wheels. Um, it's quite a bit faster on the flats. Let's see if throughout my ride I like it as much as my 26 as far as jumping and the rough, rocky terrain and, and the tight turns as well. But so far I'm pretty impressed with the bike. I'm usually not a fan of 29ers, but this one's uh, surprised me pretty good. So let's see what else I have to say about it in a couple of minutes. So the top of Four Corners at Whiting Ranch. Just got finished climbing from down there. One of the things I noticed is it's a good climbing bike. You get a little bit better traction with a little higher pressure in the tires. So a little better rolling resistance. Um, one thing that would be key on this, the dropper post. Um, probably because I'm used to the dropper post, but it really comes in handy when you're going down the little downs and up the quick ups. You can just drop it and raise it, drop it and raise it. Gives you that maneuverability when you're going down. Especially through washes and stuff where it might be sandy. And with the 29er wheels, it's much easier to control with the seat post down because the bike has a little bit higher center of gravity. Um, the other thing I really love about this, um, love Fox rear shocks, don't get me wrong, but this rock shock right here, you can see there's a switch when it's in the open position and then the locked off position or the, the pro pedal position. It's much easier to see it when it comes all the way out to the side. The Fox just has two positions that rest completely beneath the frame and with this type of shock positioning on the frame, it's hard to tell or remember which one you're in. So. It's a pretty nice feature along with the great rebound dampening that it has. Um, I'll go down some rough stuff and I'll check you after that. This is the top of the Luz Trail. A little Santiago Truck Trail technically this is. And if you like you continue up and around the face of that. I'm gonna go all the way up through Majesca Grade and come down Holy Gym. High side a couple of turns because of the large diameter of the tires, so tight technical turns, kind of just Roll the banks when you can, keep that speed and momentum. Um, flipping the switch on that lower shock back to the open position while you're starting your descent is a little tough because the air knob gets in the way. You can see it's like matched up so when you're not directly looking at it, it's kind of hard to switch, but I managed to find it. Uh, on this bike, I tend to run a little more rebound, so it's a little more jumpable. My stumpy Evo has a little more rake in the fork, the back end sits a little bit lower, so it's naturally more jumpable than this, but it's a fast rolling bike. So yeah, that's it.